we're about to play Choose a Side Asian, Asian snack, snack Battle. I will present 26 different snack items across 13 countries. You're going to try all of them and you're going to decide which snack you'd like to keep and which snack you'd like to not keep. Hi, I'm Santi. I'm the host of uh, Food Theory. So I'm Kimmy. You may have seen me on the PBF channel and on this channel. The first country I am taking you to is India. This is Bani Buri. Oh, Bani Buri. We're done. I love it. Delicious. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm getting excited. <laughs> They're also sometimes called Golga. I love the the little uh the the ladle that has the hole in the bottom. How did that look? That, that, Delicious. Uh, amazing. Guys, let's make Indian style oh, samosas. Oh my god, you're talking about Trader Joe's like it it actually is really good. That looks so good. On one hand, you have pani puri. It's a crispy hollow puri filled with a mixture of potatoes, chickpeas, spices, and then I just put some date and tamarind chutney. On the other hand, you have samosas. They originated in the Middle East and Central Asia. However, the Indians added their own spices and their own, you know, tech flavors and textures to make it their own. You have to fill the puri yeah. with, with the this. water until it's filled. Yeah. And then the whole thing in your mouth. Ready? Three, two, one. Ow. Oh my god, that was so the chutney. God damn. But again, the chutney's for the other one. I know, I know. This, this is like the most generic version of a pani, but mm. people do like pineapple flavored, mango flavored Ooh. pani, like mango. fusion it a little bit. Like, mm. Oh man. And then they do like a flaming version of pani puri, so it's on fire and you eat it into your mouth. Now the samosa. Oh, samosa god, is served with a cilantro green chutney. It's fresh, it's fried. Warm. Is this also the, the date tamarind? That is also tamarind? the date tamarind chutney, yes, exactly. Oh! Ooh, that sounds like a good bite. Crispy, pillowy. Do I taste oh. a little bit of cinnamon in there? Yeah, probably. <sighs> yeah. This is my vibe. Wow. Wow. Spice? Mm. She's kicking, and I'm kicking back. I love it. The sweetness of both uh, the <laughs> chutney so and the good. sauce. Are you crying again? <laughs> no, but it's just so good. Pani puri is delicious. A samosa is something that, like, it hits different, and I love it. She's crying still. Leave her alone. So decadent. It's so rich. Mm -hmm. And the crust, like, I'm sorry, but I'm a bread girly. This was a whole experience in eating it. And um, its flavor is still there. Like, it's yeah, staying. it's it's staying really well. It has a little bit of crunch, but then it gives way. It's flaky. The cilantro mint here is just so so good. Samosas are amazing. It's it's a classic. Like I've grown up having samosas and I love them. Bunny puri is relatively new to me, and like the experiential aspect of it has been yeah. so fun. Samosa. Samosa. Bunny puri. Samosa. <laughs> Filipino! Filipino! Let's go! Tron! I love Tron! Ooh, okay. Okay, plantain. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Be this sweet is one. sweet. And then they like deep fry it, probably. Okay, yep. there we go. And there it is. It's like a caramelized, like banana. Yeah. Sort of Somehow I managed to upset a it's lot a liquid? of Filipinos. For it's for me. Oh, this it's is for me. My first attempt of making hala hala, <gasps> and also offended a lot oh, of people beans. by putting sweet beans in an Asian Hello, dessert. Hello. Filipinos, please back me up. Gusto mo de de. So here is Duh. my second attempt with a lot of shaved ice, mm -hmm. ube ice cream on top, yep. and the toppings on top. And Jello. Oh. See, I think I would like personalize mine with some different yeah, toppings. Yeah, means mix yeah. everything in before eating. Turon, uh, a popular Filipino snack made of ripe banana slices or plantains, as you saw there, wrapped in a spring roll wrapper and deep fried to a golden crisp perfection. Then there's halo halo, which translates in Tagalog as mix mix. It is a shaved ice based dessert and it's actually evolved from the Japanese kakigori. Cheers, good sir. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> I know. It's yeah. so good and flaky. I know. Mm. Just really, really good balance. So good. No, I'm... I like that it's like so crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Now try the halo halo. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I make you so happy. You know what? I've actually haven't had halo halo as an adult. This is like some kind of pudding thing on the bottom. Oh. Mm. It's cold. You can just kind of go in time and like for another sip, for another sip. So oh, it's yeah. fantastic. Well, this is the fun part is every bite. It's just something, something new. new. 
Tehran. 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 Oh, Ooh, okay. Yeah. I like we're different on both rounds. It's just nice to snack on. You can't always have holo holo. You have to run at all the parties. I think simplicity is key sometimes. Come on. Yeah. I've had much sweeter ones in the past, so mm. I thought I wouldn't like it. But I mean, whoever prepared this, fantastic. I'm only taking you two. <laughs> we got it, Japan! Welcome to episode six of Food on Sticks. Today we're making no. alami dango, or also known as sancho dango. dango. These chewy little yeah. rice balls are really popular in Japan oh. during the spring. It's also Ooh, where so the we have like emoji comes from. It's oh! oh. Like looking, and today I'm flavoring it with strawberry and matcha. Himamaru rice crack. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. I already know my answer. I already know my answer. Very different flavors. Right, that are we're doing very, uh, yeah. Dango, which is a traditional Japanese confection made from rice flour formed into small chewy dumplings. Various toppings like sweet soy glaze, which is what that is. It's originating it from right Japan. Yes. That is a thousand years old. And then the other side, you've got Hime Maru, which is a rice cracker. They're sweet, tangy, spicy, salty. It's just one of those addicting, light soy flavor snacks that people love. Ooh, I like the texture. Mmm. Mmm. If you made this matcha or strawberry, I'll be wanging this thing around, dude. This is really good. I think I like the, the chewy part. I don't know if I love my topping. Mmm. Okay, now try the himemaru. Two, one. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This, this knows business. Bad. Literally that, glass of beer, you're having a great day. Yeah, like when I go to the karaoke bars, I could probably down like 60 of these, bro. I swear <laughs> to God. It's nice and salty. Yeah. But the, the texture is what kills me. It's so good. Hime Maru, come on. Yeah. Hime Maru. For sure, dude. <gasps> the same. We can finally agree. This is definitely like a snack that I would take with me. Yeah. Hime Maru, konnichiwa, babe. Yeah. This is, this is what I'm talking about. I like that. Okay. Mongolia, yeah. turn up. Okay. <laughs> would you ever drink fermented horse's milk? In Mongolia, this drink is cool. Cool. I like fermented be things, don't get me wrong. To learn more about it. Ah! Milk him! She just jerked off the horse! Oh, from a four-year-old mare? Oh, ch that changes the flavor then. Actually, it's good for your insane. health. Oh, yeah, wow! The only milk I drink is usually like chocolate milk. <laughs> Erag. It's fermented Erag. horse, fermented mare's milk. Ooh. Oh, Bortsag. Fried dough. Okay. Fried. Presented in Central Asia. Mm. Okay. Oh, so it's fried dough. I love that. <laughs> you know, this looks good. This is gonna be interesting choosing between a drink and yeah. something like this. Ooh, okay. According to folklore, Erag was discovered by chance when Mongolian herders noticed that mare's milk that they left to ferment in a leather bag started to taste slightly alcoholic. On the other hand, you have Bortsok, which is a fried dough pastry made out of mixing flour, sugar, dairy, eggs. Impossible to find this in the US. We had to fly this over from Mongolia. Wow. Oh, it's, it's got four to five percent alcohol content. Wait, oh, what? Oh, yes, for math. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But it tastes like a little bit of wine with cheese. You know how people have martinis uh -huh. with blue cheese olives? Right. This is what this is. It tastes like wine. No, it tastes like cheese. It tastes like someone put some whiskey in my milk. Yeah. Try the board song now. Mm. It's like air. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a beignet. It's just really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fried dough. I wonder if this is going to be good. Either Mongolia is like applauding you or screaming right now. There's something sick and twisted about it, but it's Don't. really good. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Bortsog. 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 Go crazy. Bortzog. What? No explanation necessary, dude. It's fried bread sugar. It is a, a geninely unique experience drinking this. Yeah. I just am not used to it. It's, it's an acquired different. taste. It's an acquired, it's an acquired, it's an acquired taste, taste, but I'm glad yeah. I tried it. Turkey. Oh, okay. Let's go. Turkey okay. is 95% in Asia and 5% in Europe. It's a Cool. I love it. 
Wait, I kind of dig this. The song slaps, bro. Damn, this is a banger right here. Oh my god. Hey. Ah! Ooh, that looks delightful. That. I don't. Oh! Ooh. The crunch. Ooh. That one. Soft pretzel. Oh, well, you're so right. It is definitely giving pretzel. Ooh, what is that? It's so pretty. That, that wasn't sugar. On one side, you've got Eti Sin, which is wonderful biscuit and snack. 1962 is when it was developed in Turkey. It's got an orange flavor with hints of coconut, fruit jelly, and it's just like a crispness of the biscuit. On the other hand, you have Simit, which is a sesame encrusted bread. Circular, chewy, crisp, golden brown crust. In case you were wondering what they were singing in the commercial. Yes, It translates know. as, if you laugh, everyone laughs. Oh. Mm, mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Oh, crumbly. Mm. It's kind of like this with tea would go crazy. Yeah. The chocolate's not overpowering mm -mm. the orange, but the orange isn't overpowering, which to me is the key. Good cup of tea or like just black coffee in that, you're having a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's warm. Now the cement. Again, let's have it the same time. Whoa, that's really doughy. Right. I'm Cheers. in. And of course, fresh, hot would obviously add a whole different flavor and texture, but. Yeah. Mm. So people generally have this with tea, cheese, olive tapenade, fresh vegetables. Mm. Like I can see the tapenade for sure. Bring back the chutney. And we got. <laughs> nice outer layer. Mm hmm The sesame is really, really good. I love sesame so much. Mm. Damn it. it. We're like the same. We are the same. Etisin. 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 Yep. It was really good. Very, very good. Yeah. Sin Etisin. It. What? I liked it a little more. Really? Yeah. Look at the guy. How could you not love this guy? This is this is County Fair type stuff right here. I love this. Vietnam! Vietnam. Nami, let's go. Yeah. Crispy dried jackfruit, jackfruit chips. chips. I love jackfruit just off the jump. I don't think I've had jackfruit. Vietnamese snacks, so this will be really cool. Okay. It's so good. It's impossible not to like whatever I'm watching with something like this. I'm already biased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coconut candy. Ooh. Coconut snacks. So good. Yes. I feel like this probably smells really good. Yep, yep, okay. I'm in. Yeah. So you've got a ginger coconut candy that I'm presenting. There's a packaged version mm. that you're actually gonna get. Ho Kwao Se is a Vietnamese term for dried fruit, which is a dried jackfruit. They do it with mangoes, pineapples, bananas, and it's actually crispy as opposed to chewy. So it tastes more like a chip. The other hand, you've got the ginger coconut candy. It's got a spicy kick of ginger at the end. And it's a hard candy, but it's, yeah, something that you suck on and yeah, it's great. I like the shape of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Mm. Oh wait, it kind of tastes like a fried banana. Yeah. A plantain, yeah. Yeah. This is really good. Mm. I like Actually. Mm-hmm. Wow. It works really good as a chip as a dried chip though. Yeah. Because it like kind of removes that and it makes it just a uh, airy, mm -hmm. nice snack. Or the ginger coconut candy. Ginger coconut candy. I don't know about chewy. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, oh yeah. Definitely not. Oh. Mm. Ah. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Okay. It's more milky than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, there's a the spice of the ginger. Mm-hmm. I am. What are you rise said it's all too spicy? I'm like, oh yeah. No, it's nice. The combination of ginger and coconut into like a little candy. It was an immediate no. My taste buds were not a fan. Dry jackfruit. Dry jackfruit. Jack jack jack. Yeah. I like the texture. The texture yeah. really is good. This is a proper size snack bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you say when you get a large snack bag or something, they're never this big. This is great. The next country we're taking you to is China. Let's go. China. 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 That's how you eat white rabbit candy. What? I got this. <gasps> this is good, girl. This is good. Oh my, oh my god. god. I'm gonna be biased as all hell. I yeah. love White Rabbit, love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why are they doing this instead? trying to peel this off. But this is just edible glutinous yes. rice paper. Keep that on. It's edible and you can skip that step. And for the final step. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah. Pang a language Yes. The flavor of this is phenomenal. He's just like, it's so good, I gotta dance. <laughs> when I was a kid, my brother and I would beg my mom to buy these candies each time we went to the Asian What is store. this? I had no idea what they were, but they Ooh, just See, that something. unwrapping is actually like, that's a task. Yeah. I was able mm -hmm. to eat their candy the I've never had, I this had them before. in years, so I grabbed them the last time I was at the store. Apparently, Wait, that's they're so cute. Made from the oh my god, it's like little mini boom. The little discs are sweet and fruity, and they taste as good as I Cool. Okay. You have the white rabbit candy originating in Shanghai in 1943. Unique combination of sweetened milk with butter and a touch of vanilla. And then you've got the whore flakes, which is unique because it's made from the fruit of a hawthorn tree. Sweet and tangy and these round thin wafers uh, are a very popular snack as well. This is good. I need you to try it bad. Okay, so you okay, have okay, the okay. big part, but then Okay, but then the flake everything you after you, you leave. Yeah, okay. Really? Cheers. Mm. It's a little prank you can pull on people who've mm -hmm. never had it before. And you tell them like, I'm rapping, you see them trying to like <laughs> check it off. Mm. She's hopping. Mm -hmm. She's hopping. And then she just like milks through. Oh. Milky. Mm, milky. Such a nice mm -hmm. creamy flavor. And the rice paper kind of melting in your mouth mm -hmm. adds to that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, cute. Love it. But that's like opening a present. Yeah, oh this is God. really cute wrapping. Cheers. Whoa, I like that. Whoa, ooh. It's tart, mm -hmm. it's tangy, It's the, but it has a sweetness to it that like, it's very strong, but very brief. White, White rabbit! rabbit! White, White rabbit. rabbit, yay! Four White flakes. rabbit. Yeah, this is delicious. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I mean, this will like last you a little bit longer too. It's like got a nice flavor to it. Yeah, six pieces is only 130 calories and a third of the sugar you need for the day. Wow, <laughs> there you go. Russia! Russia! Russia. Russia. Mm. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh my God, hell yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, look at that mm. dough. You, you know me in the dough, like, come on. They love like, I love no, they, like a wrap and stack and go. Right. Mm. Love. Yo, I'm in. And I found these oh. and I've been searching for something that's like fluffy and strawberry. And I found I already this, know which one I'm gonna pick. Mm, I'm curious how the texture's gonna be in this. It looks like a thick Kit Kat. Mm. A thick Kat. <gasps> I squished too hard. But Whoa. I wanna punch this. it. Oh yeah, we gotta punch it. And we bite it. That texture. <laughs> Piroshki, which is a traditional Russian pastry filled with generally either meat, cabbage, potatoes, cheese. This one I think maybe ground beef or ground pork, one of the two. Stuffed dough and very big staple. On the other hand, you have pastilla, a confection made from fruit puree, sugar, egg whites, often resulting in a soft, chewy texture. Ooh. People look happy. Ah, 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 ah. Stella, Stella. Ooh, it's fun. Okay. It's kind of remind me of a calzone. Inside out pizza. With Simply some delightful. Ooh. With some chutney. Bring the chutney out. <laughs> mm. I like the meat here. Mm. All, right. All right, we gotta squish them. Oh my God. Yeah, punch it, punch it. Oh my God. Let's get it. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, no. Well, that's Whoa. not. I like that. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> Harder cotton candy, kind of, maybe? You yes, know? Yeah, because yes. it melts immediately in your mouth. I didn't love the texture. I it's didn't, the weirdest texture It's ever. really sweet. Piroski. Piroski. Piroskis, mm -hmm. yeah. Both yeah. really good. I was just so surprised by this. The flavor is insane, the, the texture is so unique. That's delightful. Uh, please make me another one to take home. This is good. <laughs> Compare. I don't know about her. What is it, Das Vidanya? Is that bad? So now we're moving on to Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. Chocolate wafer stick, stick from Malaysia. Hollow. Wow. sounds familiar. Hey. What's this in the bag? Hey. The Mimi's, the Mimi's are now in the cooling They're phase. called Mimi's? Mimi's! Okay, Mimi's. Like pretzels. That looks so cool. What is it? I want to dive in there, Scrooge yeah. McDuck style. Pretzel Like a, a Cheeto type snack. 
The Apollo chocolate sticks from 1968 in Malaysia, chocolate wafer sticks. Or you've got the Sneku, which is the name of the company, Mimi. Mimi is their prawn flavored stick chips. 1976 was when Sneku came to be. And this is known for their crispy, spicy, tangy flavor, prawn flavor. Jump in with the chocolate sticks first, then Sneku Mimi. Oh my God. I feel like if you like bite off both ends, you can use it like a straw. Oh. Delightful. I like the wafer part, but there could be more chocolate, I fear. Standard wafery chocolate. Mm -hmm. The wafer is more like a like a sugar cone kind of wafer too, which is interesting. Mimi! Mimi. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Oh. These are super easy to eat. I love it. Yeah. Sneku. Oh Mimi. Sneku Mimi. Sneku Mimi. Sneku Mimi. Sneku Mimi. Oh my God. Is this the first one? It's our first time that we're different. We're divided. This one was actually very close because these are really good. I like chocolate. Like I'm a chocolate girl, so that's why. I get it. I'm a chocolate boy. I know. Tangy, delicious, cute, and petite. Like me. Fluffy, chocolatey, Oh. and dusty. Like me. Overall, <laughs> flavor complexity. That's where I'm going with Yeah, this. the wafer cookies, are, they're so fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Something about this crunch. Yeah. Armenia. Armenia. I'm very interested. In a strange way. Ooh. Kind of looks like beads. Wow, oh, that is wow. beautiful. So we're gonna give you dried apricots. Gata. Gata is a delicious Armenian coffee. Gotcha. That looks delicious. It's actually pretty easy to make. Oh. So much dough. Yes. Add in uh -huh. your walnut mixture, place in your mm. dime. Edges pleating at the top and make a seal. Flip it over, flatten it yeah. out, dust it with flour, and using the back of the fork, draw some lines. Ooh. Wash an egg wash into a 375 oven. And after 30 minutes in the oven, just let it cool. Oh, that looks and you'll beautiful. Have your golden, delicious gata with a filling. Gata! Oh, sure. Oh, and then the rice dough. It's so good. Want some? Yes! yes. Okay. I wish I could say something in Armenian, but I can't. Contribute to production where they use basically sun drying on flat surfaces using low heat dehydration. And that's a specific type of getting dried fruits that not many other countries do. Then the other hand, gata, sweet, rich, flavor, flaky, buttery texture. It's typically made from a dough. Sometimes it's coffee flavored. This one may not have it, but then mixed with nuts and sugar and stuff. So very, very popular. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Well, it's harder to chew than it look like. Oh, okay. This one's hella dry. It's not as sweet as I was anticipating. Mm. Sour. Sour. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's really good. Chewy, tangy. Mm hmm. I, and I'm not a fan of dried fruits, so this is weird mm -hmm. for me because I really, really like this. Oh. Mm. The walnut? Mm hmm. Mm. That's delicious. It's not quite as like fluffy as I want the dough. It's heavier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, a lot more dense. Mm -hmm. It's dense, but there's a caramelization on top that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dried apricots. Gata. Dried apricots. <laughs> we had to switch over each other. Dried Gata. apricots. What? It's easier to eat for me. Yeah. And I like fruit, especially sour fruit, mm -hmm. and that's just for me. I feel like yeah. I'd get like three quarters of the way through it and be like, yeah, I'm done. done. Yeah. I love coffee. I love coffee cake. I love cake. I mean, the, all these things are so good. It's really, and it's very like just enjoyable to eat and like snack on little by little. Yeah. South, South Korea! Korea! <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's turtle go, chips dog. Are the best I love chips. turtle chips. Come on. Hey. That's a good crunch. Mmm. -hmm. I'm telling you right now, go to an Asian market, get the turtle chips. You won't regret it. Remind me, ping me. It's our choco pies. They come oh, in three different flavors. Originally with the green tea. Pies. It consists of two round cakes with They're a marshmallow filling so and a chocolate choco covering. They're both so good. Choco pie. So you've got turtle chips, which are South Korean snack, characterized by their unique turtle shells, shape and crunchy texture, made from a blend of rice flour and cornmeal. Or the Lottie Choco Pie, which is, of course, uh, the cake-like cookies filled with a layer of marshmallow coated in smooth chocolate glaze, which has been around since 1974. Okay, cheers. cheers. Wow. Oh my god. That's so good. I love that. That's so good. Yeah. I've never had a turtle chip. The layering. 
The fire, dude. Interesting. Chocolate churro. Mm, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Um. <laughs> yes, please. Mm. Wow. Cheers. No. Mm. Mm. Yep. Good. It's a little softer dough covered in chocolate. I mean, like, what's there's nothing wrong with this at all. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I will say the texture of it is very, very enjoyable. It's not that much chocolate either. Turtle, turtle chips! chips. Turtle, chip. yeah. turtle, turtle chips. Yeah. Turtle chips. Turtle chips. Turtle chips. Come on, dog. There was no way. Because they're fire, they're oh light, my. they're fun flavor. Mm. This is really good too. But I would finish that back. Indonesia! Oh. So I was gonna say, Gustavo Dede. Okay, already I'm in. What is this? A little layer situation. Right. It looks like a, a musubi. Ooh! Uh, Let's go. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a chicken version. Uh, okay. Lempa is what it's called. Lempa. Lempa. L E M P E R. Oh, fine. Oh. Oh, nice. Yes. So like the little SpongeBob. Oh, cute. Like hamburgers. The jellies. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they start in Indonesia, because we have the little little guys. Yeah. These are so cool. Lempa, which is a traditional Indonesian snack made with gluttonous rice filled with spiced shredded meat, typically chicken or beef, and you've got chicken right there, wrapped in banana leaves. We obviously took it off for you. Or yuppie gummy, which is a confectionery product from Indonesia. They do different kinds of gummies. You've got strawberry kiss. It's a very loved snack in Indonesia. Mmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Made me mm -hmm. go cross eyed. Mmm. Hell yeah. Oh! I love the chicken inside. It's so flavorful. It is. It would be really good dipped into like a peanut sauce. Mmm. There's a really nice aromatic seasoning in there. Mmm. Trying to put my finger on it. You're fine. Oh. Oh. It's got the consistency of like a, uh, a Sour Patch Kid. That's it's really... like a stickier version of a peep. Okay. Strawberry cream gummy action. Yep. Lempa. Lempa. Let's go. Lempa. 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 I can see this having potential. Like if I'm in Indonesia, like really eating super Starting. authentic there. It's great. It's really it's good. It's so good. Yeah, the rice, the chicken, yeah. everything works. This one is fantastic. I'm Asian, so rice. Iran! Persian! So I'm gonna try gaz. the traditional sweet of Isfahan. It's called Ooh. Gaz. So I'll tell you a little bit more about this one That's because I'm supposed to be a good place to go for it. Yes, gaz, okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like a It's so golden there. Honey and pistachios in there. Ooh! Honey, Ooh. Honey, and pistachios. honey and pistachios sounds delicious. It's their version of seasoned oh, candy. Right, are crunchy and so delicious. Oh, Make cute. Make the syrup by combining sugar, water, Ooh. and lemon juice. Lemon Eat juice? Minutes, I love lemon. Cardamom, saffron water, rose water, oh. and continue to cook for another 25 minutes. When it's sticky like this, it's ready. Love Ooh. that. Heat okay. up water, butter, and sugar. Then add flour oh, and stir butter. for about five minutes over low heat. Then cool the dough mm. and incorporate oh. one egg at a time. The dough will separate at first, but keep stirring. It will come together and look like this. Now pipe the dough into your cold oh, oh, nice. to help. This is how it does. Like in 10 minutes, then 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 30 minute fry. Whoa. Okay. Hell yeah. On one side, you have gaz, Turkish confectionery, soft, slightly chewy, texture is rich and nutty. The other side, you've got the zulbia, which is the circular thing, balmie, which is the small balls. They're kind of sometimes served together. They have the same base saffron rose water syrup, basically pure sugar. Balmie, zulbia in India, it's called a jalebi. This looks awesome. It does. Mmm, there it is. This is great, this is pleasant. Yeah. The rose element isn't like overpowering. Oh, wow. The That's honey. really sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh, whoa. Wow. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I think we were both expecting a crunch. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Super sweet. Wow. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, man. Ready? Oh, you can, yeah. Let's oh, see. my God. Go for it. Wow. <laughs> Sickeningly sweet. Oh, ooh. Oh, wow. Woo! <laughs> this texture is nice though, I like this. I feel like I'm eating like honeycombs. Oh my God. I mean, it's, it's, it's so sweet. It's delicious, it's so sweet. It's, I can feel the cavities. This one, 
is like a whisper of sweetness. Whereas this one socks you right in the face with it. Zulbia Bamie. Guys, let's go. Zulbia Bamie. Zulbia Bamie. Yeah, guys, for really me. good. I feel like I could eat more of these without having to take a nap afterwards, dog. Like, that's facts. It's very enjoyable, very subtle flavor, but very, very good. How are you guys feeling? Full. Yeah, I, I, this is, I don't have to eat for three days after this now. No. But what was the hardest decision you had to make? Ooh, I think India was really good. Yeah, Malaysia, Malaysia gave a run for her money. Turkey was also pretty good. Turkey was, yeah. Mm -hmm. The samosa. Honestly, I was gonna say samosa. And the, uh, what was it called? Pani puri. Pani puri. Pani puri. Yeah, so that one hard. was difficult. In the Philippines, it's hard to pick between two snacks because I love, I'm very biased, but I love like Filipino desserts and snacks. So. I think the Philippines was the hardest too because yeah. both of those just brought it. Honestly, so good. Something so different. Yeah. What was your favorite snack that you tried today? Oh my God. The turtle chips were fire. Tehran was good. I also liked me some Mimi. I did save my Mimi for later. I did like my Apollo. So there was quite a few that I enjoyed. I want to cool. take home turtle chips. <laughs> I love that she's Today. like, give me Something the bag. Sim it. Yeah, that fish. delicious. I've had it before, but Petty Pooty, I would, <laughs> I would get more. Yeah. The turtle chips, the sweet corn turtle chips. Mimi's, uh, the prawn chips yeah. were also really good. White rabbit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I only just discovered them. Only just now. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching this, this episode. episode. Let us know what side you chose in the comments. What's next that you want to try? Let us know in the comments. Goodbye. Peace. Bye. Goodbye. 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 The Goodbye. with a uh, R. <laughs>